what kind of reception do you think Carlo Ancelotti will get in Sacco Bridge on Sunday? Very good one. Um, very well respected in house and to the fans that I think will respect his period at the club. Um, he's a gentleman, fantastic manager. Um, I, I love working with him personally. I think he'll get a great reception. Did you have your best ever season when you played under him when you won the double? I Not sure. Th I think it was 30 times that season. Yeah, just short of that, I think, but um, it was a good season. And what was he like as a manager? Um, a great man manager, really um, great, at, well, on a personal level, it was great at striking up relationships with the players to try and get them the, the best out of myself. I suppose it's easier to talk about myself, um, but obviously very good tactically, a really calm manner at the right time, never too high, never too low, um, and just someone I think that I personally enjoyed working with, and I think we had a very successful year in that first year to win the double. Um, and from then on, I've uh, kept in touch with him now and again, and um, again, huge respect for him. Were you surprised that he lost his job after you finished second? Year after winning the double. Not surprised. Now this is football. These things happen uh, all over the all over the world in elite football. So no. Turning to um, what's happening off the pitch, Sam Allardyce has been linked with um, going to Well, it wouldn't affect anything in terms of preparation. You would you would take on the opposition that were in front of you. It would obviously affect the atmosphere. Clearly, we'd have to see. And obviously, takes away a lot from from a game when you don't have fans in the stadium. It's part of the why we love this this sport here because of what that generates. But um, there are some things that are more important. Clearly, and if that's the case, or if that's the uh, path that gets chosen by the authorities, whoever the government, I guess. Then you would go with that. Has anything changed behind the scenes for you and the players in regards to handshakes? And yeah, we're, we're not shaking hands. Um, we're following the protocol that's recommended. The doctors, you know, kind of lead that one with us, and uh, we're doing everything that we that we can. Uh, we're very as open as things change. And uh, Olivier Giroud, I think he told the Evening Standard a few days ago that he would like to stay longer at Chelsea. Can you see that happening in the future, maybe? Keep saying the same with every player. Um, the destiny's in their own hands, to whatever degree, depending on contractual situations. Uh, I'm not jumping ahead to the summer on any player. Um, we've got a big job in front of us now to try and do as well as we can in the league, the FA Cup, Champions League when we travel to Munich to play with pride for the club, and that's all. And Billy Gilmore, how's he been since Tuesday night? Um, the same. The same, we had a day off, um, so I'm sure he enjoyed it, he should do, his family were here for the game. Um, but knowing Billy, even at a young age, he's a very determined young lad, I think he's very smart um, and he'll understand that uh, it was a really good game for him, but that the, the hard work starts now, so um, I think he should quite rightly enjoy the moment and um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted for him, but in terms of how I've seen him around the place, no, same attitude, same training, same ethics, same quality. So all good. And injury news? Any, any updates on um, Loftus Cheek? <clears throat> no, Ruben, Ruben actually, we just had an in-house game here, um, which Ruben and Christian Pulisic took part in. Um, great to see Christian get some minutes, still short of match fitness, but the, it's the first time the injuries felt to a level to actually get him on a big pitch in a relatively competitive match. So that's a big step forward. Hopefully, I'll find out how it went, particularly after, but I just watched it. Uh, and Ruben played half of that game himself and is trying to find match fitness. So he's, he's short of that. Um, Ruben's saying that himself, uh, and I can see that. So there's work to be done with Ruben. And Tammy, he said last night that he may be back before the end of the month. What date are we now? Six. Six, yeah. Right. I hope so. <laughs> is he training at the moment? Or? No. no. Not with us. And um, Hudson Doyle? No, he had a re-injury yesterday. I think it was quoted in some of the press. We're having a scan on him this afternoon. So he will be longer than expected. OK. And that is the broadcast section. Sorry, Adrian, can I just, just on, on Callum, obviously, 
frustrating for him to have a setback at this point. I know you never rush anyone back, but how's he with that? Because it seemed like he was, you know, like closing in on a return. Is that tough for a player to? Yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. He, he wasn't rushed back. The, all the. <coughs> Um, the signs and the talk was that he was fit to train. Clearly, we did it with every player, and then he re injured on the, his first training session with us. So, frustrating for him, definitely. Young boy, he's so keen to play as you'd expect. Um, and frustrating because it's another injury for us. I think it hasn't been spoken about that much. Um, we've had the probably the, the worst injury list of certainly the, the top group at the table, I think. Lots of numbers injured, important players, Kenty, Ruben Loftus Cheek, etc. Started the season that way, and it's happened again in the middle of the season. So we're working against that to try and get the best results. Can we just check Kovacic and William? Kovacic isn't fit. No, no he's a he's Achilles injury. We'll take him out of the weekend, hopefully, not long after that. And uh, William, we're assessing. He's a he's a question mark for Sunday. Okay, cameras off, please.